So thank you very much for having me out here today. I'm Dave Wood, I'm the founder of Mahana Fresh. So Mahana Fresh is an emerging brand. We are a small brand. We are a build your own bowl concept. So it's a very healthy concept. We have no fryers, no freezers, no microwaves. Everything's made fresh on site. The service line, well look at that picture. It is a uh, Chipotle style service line. Subway really invented it, but none of us like to admit we copied Subway. So we all call it Chipotle stock, even though they copied Subway. And we are in a growth stage right now. And this is all, this is about athletes, which is great. Our growth really got a boost last fall when we sold part of the company to a NBA player named Kyle Kuzma. So Kyle is a, the best player on a really terrible team. He plays for the Washington Wizards. And I was in Phoenix this morning approving a site for Kyle. Kyle is going to open four stores himself this year. So he is really growing the brand. And he is also bringing other athletes in, which is something that's really nice. The first store will open for him is next month in Gainesville, Virginia, which is a suburb of D.C. And he has four other basketball players that are investors in that restaurant. Uh, we do a couple different things. We do an area rep model, which is basically a, a master franchise model where someone becomes our partner in a territory. Like we just sold the half of Atlanta to a gentleman who is building restaurants, but also looking to help other people open restaurants, then he will oversee those restaurants for us. And we split the royalty income and franchise fees with that person. So that's, you know, I guess I talk too fast, so Greg hasn't raised his hand yet. But you know, I really am better at questions. Cool. What's your point of difference with the Chipotle? So with Chipotle, our point of difference is we're like Chipotle 15 years ago when they were good. <laughs> better ingredients. Better ingredients, our food is really good, and we have a broader selection. So we're not a Mexican restaurant, we're not a Mediterranean restaurant like Cava. We have, we, we have three different chickens, a barbecue chicken, a, a citrus chicken, which we call Key West chicken, which is actually the only recipe of my mom's that we could possibly use, because everything else was terrible. And then we have a teriyaki chicken. What's your attitude of About a million. And what is EBITDA on that? About 20. 20 percent? Yep. At this store level? Yeah. Sorry, Kevin, what, what is EBITDA? You, you might just break it in. What's EBITDA? What is EBITDA? Yeah, it just invite earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation. So in general, just profits. Is it fair? It's a cash flow. Cool. Profits. Cool. Oh. What kind of deal did you uh, structure for him? Is he part of your marketing? Uh, would he be marketing for the entire franchise? So just to say so Kyle is a 25% owner of the company, and he's also a master franchisee for Metro DC and Metro Phoenix, where I was today. And he will not officially be marketing, because I didn't want to make him a paid endorser. He's a franchisee. He will be um, talking about us when he feels like it on his social media. He's got 5 million um, followers on Instagram. and. You know, once he opens his store, we expect to see a lot. We really want to get his girlfriend, because she's got 10 million. <laughs> she's a model named Winnie Harlow. So we really want to get her involved, but she hasn't gotten involved yet. Paul, you got something? Hey, Dave. Um, I, great presentation, great pitch, uh, really concise. I'm also kind of curious like, uh, uh, to attract franchisees. Um, I, I've done some research on you, and I know that you come from a really deep background, especially with er, emerging franchises. Uh, a lot of emphasis should be placed more on the team. So I'd love for you to show off a little bit more about your background, too. All right, well, I don't try to do that, but I, I started out delivering pizzas for a little company called Domino's Pizza when they had 200 stores, and worked my way up. At the age of 22, I was running 30 Domino's Pizza stores in Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and Atlanta, Georgia. And then I left there and ended up opening 20 of my own in Northern Virginia. And I had 20 Domino's for about 30 years. We were one of the top Domino's franchisees because I hire smart people that make me look good. That's the best thing you can do as an entrepreneur is to surround yourself with people smarter than you. And we ran a good company and had a lot of fun. 
I sold that about 10 years ago. I was going to retire, moved to Sarasota, Florida, and started playing golf and basketball every day, and got bored in about two months. So then it was time to get back to work in what I know is restaurants and franchising. And it, it's fun developing concepts, and it's fun helping people um, develop their own business. You know, it's really enjoyable to mentor people. I had great mentors when I was getting started, and so that's really exciting to me and really enjoyable. Yeah, I was on the phone yesterday with two people. Um, I have a Twitter account called The Franchise Guy, and I was on the phone with two people from Twitter yesterday that are developing their own concepts and uh, just, just uh, listening to them and giving them feedback. And that's a blast for me. Okay. We have eight open. We'll open about 12 this year. You on Franklin Street yet or Granville Power Street? I live in Granville. Yeah, but we don't have any on Franklin Street. Thank you. Thank you very much.